sitting in great seats. And then we hear on the radio that the pilot and the co-pilot are punching each other. <laughs> so, you know, so everybody is concerned about it because the more tension that happens, the more there are effects uh, of it. Uh, I mean, the slowdown in China, it's over 6% growth. And I, I look at it and say, you know, the growth is not just money, it's education, it's lifting people from poverty, it's the infrastructure, which China is doing uh, to really uh, position itself for more growth in the future. Uh, so yeah, there is a bit of growth, but I think in the long term, if things doesn't get really messy with this tension, we will be fine. What does this mean for investors specifically when you're looking to your next exciting investments? So we, uh, we recently uh, did our uh, first investment in China uh, in the tech uh, industry uh, there in the tech growth companies. Uh, we see a lot of opportunities. Now us, we're really still a small global investment firm. We're nimble. You know, I say to our people, we're not an aircraft carrier yet. We're a s small fighter jet. So we want to be nimble. We want to move quickly to opportunities. And that's how we, we're really looking at it. And when you take a step back, um, obviously, as best core is a global company, but they have their roots inside the region, sure. in Bahrain in particular. Um, Gulf economy is very much tied to the price of oil. Would you say data is the new oil? I mean, when you, when you look at the Gulf, the opportunities for investment are amazing. <clears throat> you know, all the government there are doing all the good strategic moves. They are diversifying, they are uh, finding ways to offload a lot of the burden on private sector. They are trying to bring uh, foreign investment into it. There are amazing projects, you know, from Dokkum Port in Oman to Neon in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's, it's really an exciting, exciting uh, place. Uh, oil is going to go up and down, uh, you know. My experience is anybody who tells you what the price will be be, uh, beyond six months is got to be uh, you know sure of what uh, what they're saying uh, but I think the region is getting uh, to grips with what the future should be uh, and what the economies should be and what what the things that will bring value to that part of the world and when you look at the challenges on the horizon particularly for the region uh, there's been so much excitement about the movement we've seen in Saudi Arabia in the last two years with Division 2030. There's also still, of course, a lot of momentum in places like Dubai um, when it comes to entrepreneurs and really setting up an environment where people can come and work and do business in a real way. Um, but what are some of the headwinds that you see on down the line there? Because private investors do tell me that they are still concerned about governance um, whether it be in Saudi Arabia or the UAE, um, and they are worried to keep reinvesting at this point. They still don't see a clear message from the government. So I think that's, that's right. I mean, I think there are still bureaucracies that we really need to uh, make uh, more efficient. Uh, there is also uh, tech-enabled uh, growth that we really need, that the, the GCC needs to go after. Uh, at the moment, I don't think uh, that's been given its uh, fair uh, s uh, size of, of importance. Uh, but in terms of opportunities, in terms of uh, uh, really uh, diversified opportunities, it's, it's full of it. What about the United States? Where do you see opportunities there? The United States has been great for us, as you, you know. We've, we've been there for over 40 years. We've done private equity. We've done real estate. We, we have our credit business. We have our hedge funds there. And so the, the, the American economy has been great for us, it's continued to be fantastic for us. You know, we think we can compete. We can invest. We can exit uh, in there. Uh, and uh, we continue to find opportunities, uh, whether it's in real estate, whether it's uh, in uh, private equity, whether uh, in uh, the tech-enabled real estate. The uh, uh, yeah, so the, the opportunities are massive. And like like I said, you know, we we're really not looking to deploy trillions of dollars. Uh, we want you know, four or five private equity uh, deals every year, four or five real estate deals, and we're finding them.